Hi, I'm Becky Perez. Welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. I will be demonstrating Activity 2 under Science. The children will be constructing a booklet on the life cycle of the pine tree. Materials needed for this activity are the pattern of the tree that is going to be duplicated onto green because trees are green and it adds novelty to the activity. We're going to need four sheets of, of, of the copy paper and then a plain uh, green sheet for the backing of the booklet. And then of course, since we're doing sequence, we're going to need the sequence cards. Okay. And also, we're going to use the glue stick in this activity. So, to begin the activity, we're going to take, let me put this together, we're going to take the green sheet and we're going to put it in front. Okay? And then behind it, we're going to put the four sheets of the white paper. It should be four. It's right here. Here's the other. Okay, let me make sure. One, two, three, four. Yes, there's four here. It's so important because it is, it's a sequence and it takes four steps. And also, as you can see, I, I, you can prepare this chart ahead of time. Title, Cycle of the Pine Tree. So for at the workstation or the area that the children are working, they can follow this. Of course, as I, we mentioned earlier, modeling is so important because it does give them the opportunity to be successful. So then what you do first, you take the green, the front of the, which is going to be the front of the book, and you put the four sheets in the back, and then we put the back. After you do that, then you staple. It's real important that you staple inside because they're going to be cutting around it and three will be sufficient okay so now you have it like this okay and you have the sheets this way and uh, another thing that the children will cut will be cutting on the outer part of the tree now younger children you probably will have to you know cut this ahead of time for them just a little book like that and of course you're modeling and you're cutting on the outside. Continue going all around on the black line. And by this time, you know, they've seen you model and they know what uh, needs to be done. And of course, it's, it, it, it is, this is a science. I mean, they've been learning all about pine trees, the, the sequence, they've been learning about uh, the seeds, the different types of trees. So there's so much learning going on and it's all hands on and of course continue this the children constantly constantly promoting fine motor skills also because these activities are hands on they're fun and the children retain what they're learning rather than just the little worksheet that they color okay so it looks like this but now we need the title so we'll title it and what is the title here my pen is right here and I had it right here here it is Cycle of the pine tree, so we're going to put it. Cycle, C, Y, C, L, E. Of the what? Of the pine tree. And P, I, N, E, pine tree. T, R, E, E. Looks like this. Now, we're going to sequence this, and they've learned that the, in, in science that the first step of this is the seed. So we'll, we're going to cut the sequence sheets, cut them, and of course, cut in half, then go around this way, continue cutting, and then we sequence and, the, and like it, you can follow the they can follow the chart. So the first thing is the pine cone. So we open up our booklet like this, and we're going to cut around it. 
because it'll fit better in the booklet. And of course, you're modeling. And uh, and you glue the first part, which is the pine cone. So you use the glue stick, glue it on there, and of course, just a little dab here, a little dab there, and put it right here. Okay, just like this. Okay, there's something missing. The vocabulary word, very important. The vocabulary, because we we want it, the picture connects with. So what is this called? They know what this is called. That's a pine cone. So they can write pine cone. And they know, they have learned that the seed is inside the pine cone. Okay? And what are these? These are seeds. Right. And what does the seeds do? Well, they grow the tree. And see how good that looks? The connection. That is awesome. Then they go to the next page. And what's the next step when we sequence? What's next? The seedling. So we find the seedling and we cut it up. Wow, these words that they're learning. It's, you're going to be amazed and so excited how much vocabulary and how much they're going to be retaining. It's just, it's awesome. It's just, you're going to be so excited. So what is this called? The seedling. So let's write it. And of course, we spell it S E E. D L I N G. So that's the next step. Okay, what happens next? After the seedling, we have what? The sapling. Wow. That's when now the tree is starting to grow. You know what's so amazing? That these trees that we learned about start as a little bitty seed. And they see that it grows to a giant plant. Because sometimes the children don't have the concept that a tree starts as a little bitty plant. So here we have the sapling with the tree starting to grow. And how do you spell it? S A P L I N G. And of course, there's, you have the little chart for them to follow. Wow, and the last step. The last step is that now it say what? It is a tree. God, and it's a giant tree. It's amazing what they've learned. You cut around there. And of course you continue modeling. And you glue the, the tree on there. And you write the word tree. See how much they're learning, how much writing's involved, how much vocabulary is involved. And as you can see, by looking and it's like that we have the tree and we have the pine tree and as you can see that not only are they learning this I mean uh, from left to right the beginning station of reading so look how awesome it starts from the seed to the seedling to the sapling and then the giant tree that is amazing and what's so important that that this activity they promote reading it promotes writing they promote vocabulary. Also, when children learn to sequence, it helps the brain organize information. It's just so many skills involved here. And you know, the, and, and the shape of the tree, you know, it adds novelty to the activity. And children are going to be so excited, and and they just retain everything they learn. Now, we have younger children that can also do this activity, so we've chosen a smaller book. And it's an accordion book. Okay? It's a little accordion book that looks like this. Why? Because younger children have small hands. And as you can see this, children, <clears throat> we recommend accordion books because younger children don't have the concept of turning the page to glue it on onto a sequence page. So that's why we recommend accordion books. I'm going to go ahead and place it here. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and, and uh, show you the materials needed for the accordion book. And look how pretty and, and how good it looks. And you can see even the pictures, they're not as deep. They're more, you know, geared towards younger children. You know, they can see the little tree. They can see the pine cone. And uh, put it right here. Just stay right there. So <clears throat> what you need here, of course, you're going to need the tree pattern. 
that of course we're going to duplicate them to the green because children know already that trees are green, leaves are green, of course the trunks are brown, and of course the sequin sheet that they're going to need. And then you're also going to need a thinning strip. Okay? Thinning strip. They can be cut in half. Now it's really important how you fold this paper. So you have a piece of uh, a thinning strip when you're going to fold it in half. But what's really important that you you have to fold the sides up like this so we can lay on a uh, flat on it can be an accordion and if you put it down it kind of if there's a triangle it looks like a little tree so when you place it here see it is it, it stays like that so as you can see there's so many skills involved here children learn so much from these activities and they're so excited about learning all about pine trees Thank you. This concludes our demonstration on Activity 2.